Hi guys, in this video we are going to look at Autogen and we are going to use Olama to run Autogen. This is going to be fun. So you know we have Autogen. Autogen is a framework that enables uh, you to have multiple agents talk to each other and then we have Olama where we can host different LLMs in our local system and now you have a selection of so many models that you have in your system and you can select any of the models or a combination of the models to run the different agents that we have in Autogen. Now for running different systems, we are, or for running the different LLMs, we are going to use this light LLM service. This is an open source library and it will simplify the LLM uh, completion and embedding calls and selection will be easier when we use light LLM. We're going to see this in the demonstration. But first of all, we start everything with the Olama setup. So we go to olama.ai and here we can see that we can press this download button. And if in the download button, we have a download for macOS, for Linux, and it's not available for Windows. Just need to download this on my Mac system. And after installing that, you will see an icon on the top, uh, a cat icon. Then you can be sure that this is Llama, it's not a cat. But you can see the Llama is running there. And uh, that's it. So now what you can do is I'm going to open up a terminal. So we can say just open up any terminal on your uh, system and then you can say oh llama. You can see the list of commands that are available. So serve is to start the olama. Create is to create a model from the model file. Show information for a model here. Run a model. Pull, push, list. I'm going to show you the list. So olama list. So these are the uh, different large language models that I have installed locally on my system. So about 15 large language models are installed. As you can see, I've installed this three weeks ago, just 11 hours ago. As you can see, I'm an extensive user and I've tested these models thoroughly for different integrations of Olama. So we have this 15 number of models locally on my system and I now have the freedom to use any of these models. So this is the Olama part. Now we know uh, Autogen. So in Autogen we have multiple agents talking to each other. If you go to the multiple agent conversation framework here, we can see that there are different use cases. So basically if I just scroll down and have a look at the examples here, so you can see a bunch of use cases. I urge you to try these use cases with this simplified example that uh, I'm going to show you. So first of all, let's uh, start up everything. So what I've done is that I will open in the Visual Studio Code Editor. In the Visual Studio Code Editor, what I've done is I already have been testing this out, uh, the different, uh, you know, different agents. So what I will do is that uh, since I have this folder Autogen and inside this folder I have different Python files which I've been testing out. I'm going to show you the basic file here. But what I need to do is first set up an environment, a Conda environment. Uh, I will use Conda here. So what I can do is I, I'm just going to say Conda create. You can have a list, uh, a view of the uh, the environments that you have using this conda info dash dash envs so i have these many conda environments but i'm going to show you uh, how to create one so i can say conda uh, create dash name uh, a new environment for example auto uh, gen new auto gen one okay and i'm going to say python equal to 3.11 this is going to create an environment known as autogen1. Now we like to proceed, press return. So it's going to load up the environment in just a few seconds. Now we can just activate the conda environment here. So we say uh, conda activate and autogen1.
so we are inside the autogen one here and we are inside this folder autogen so we can uh, load up the app one basic.py so this is the file that i have uh, i have selected and i made for you but before that what we need to do is install uh, the and check if olama is running so what i can do is that since we have decided uh, to use olama with uh, light llm so we are going to install light llm as well so what i'm going to say is pip install light llm this is going to install the light llm which is a framework that will help you to select the different models easily and swap uh, the models easily so this is done let me clear this and what next you need to install the pi autogen library as well because we are going to use the pi autogen so this is installed now this is done now what i can do is i can just say this i can say uh, light llm and dash dash model and o llama dash mistral Mistral is one of my favorite models. So you can just load up this. We can see that this Mistral model has been loaded here. Uh, HTTP 000 and 8000. So in the 8000 port, this Mistral has been loaded. Now what we can do now is let this run and just press uh, an, an add button here on the plus button. Then what you can do is again, we can say light llm uh, dash dash model then o llama and we can just put up a different model so in the list of models we can see which model will be best uh, let's go to the models here and uh, here you can see the different models we can just load up neural chat or anything uh, let me see which models i have do i have neural chat here uh, yes i do so let's pull up the neural chat here so we go back to Visual Studio Code, we say neural dash chat and basically this is going to start up the neural chat in 44969. So let it run here and again uh, press on plus here. So once you press plus here, now is the time uh, to run the, the code itself here. So before we run this code, let me give a brief description of the things that I've written here. So first we are going to import the autogen. Next we have this configuration list one. In this configuration list we are putting the base URL as the URL of the first uh, large language models that we have started. So I'm just going to rename this to Mistral. And the second one I can rename this uh, to Neural Chat. Okay. So in the first Mistral we see that it is uh so it's loaded in the 8000 port that is correct here and the neural chat it is load up in 44969 so i'm just going to change this to 44969 control s or command s here and then what i'm going to do is uh, llm config mistral we are going to put the configuration list that we have here in the llm config uh mistral or I can just change this to let's say instead of Mistral I'm going to set this to 1 and instead of code llama I can set this to 2. So LLM config 1 is this, LLM config 2 is this. So here I can put LLM config 2 and here I can put LLM config 1. Okay, command S. So we have uh, these two. So LLM config one, LLM config two. We start up a coder using Autogen Assistant Agent. Name is coder, and the LLM config is the LLM config two. We start up the user proxy. The name is the user proxy. Human input mode is never. Max consecutive auto reply is ten. And then we have the termination function here, and we have the system message here. We have the LLM config as well here. We also set up a working directory uh, known as web. Uh, okay, so this is the task that we have defined. Tell me a joke. Very simple. So we start up the user or the autogen uh, user underscore proxy is dot uh, initiate chat coder and message is equal to task. So we say command S and now we're going to run. Mind you that we need to keep the mistral and a neural chat running on two different ports here and then you can go to the third terminal and you can run this so we say python 3 app 1 underscore basic dot pi 
So I'm going to run this. No module name autogen. So you're going to uh, first of all, we are not inside the. Uh, as you can see, we are in the base environment. We need to change the environment. So Conda activate. Uh, what was the name of the environment? It was autogen one. So we are inside this environment now. Now let's do this. Uh, Python 3 app 1 underscore basic dot pi. Now let us see if we get any error. So one addition thing that we need to do is to set this API key as null here and API key as null here. And now we can start this. So we say Python 3 app underscore basic dot pi. So tell me a joke here. So let's wait for the result here. So the first message is given by the user proxy to the coder. Tell me a joke. Then the coder gives to tell you a joke. You need to choose an amusing text or statement. Here is a joke. Why did this scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in the field. To print this joke, you, you can use the Python code as follows. So you can see this works. And now you have the power to put it to use in any of the ways. I've been testing out different groups and the different math examples, visualization examples and uh, I shall bring more use cases but this is how with the update of uh, everything and as on uh, December 2023 we have this thing in Autogen running and up and now it is up to you to use this wisely and to do some interesting projects that your your heart desires so having said that I think this should be the end of this video if you like this video subscribe to my channel like and share this video watch out the other videos on my channel join my membership and i'll see you next time this is your host prompt engineer signing off for a better tomorrow thank you